with a news week like the one that we've had, the Boston bombings and votes on federal gun legislation, it's easy for other big stories to fly under the radar. One of those other stories this week is that students all around New York are getting their first taste of the state's new standardized tests. Not all students, though. As I found out today, an opt-out movement is getting high marks from some parents. I'm floored by how many uh, parents actually participated in this. Weekend. Kate Sundwall is a co-president of the Ichabod Crane Central School PTA. Her fifth grader is one of 135 students in the district who opted out of taking New York's standardized English exam this week. These tests take so much time away from the classroom and it really doesn't give any any information back that will be helpful for my child. You may be wondering, since when were students given the ability to opt out of a state test? I contacted State Ed for an answer. 2013 is the first year the new tests are being administered. While State Ed says there's no official opt-out option, they did include a provision to record refusals as students not tested, with no further penalty for the student. They do, however, require schools to have at least a 95% participation rate. If you don't hit 95% participation, the state can withhold some funding. I'm not exactly sure how much that is or what that is. Superintendent George Zini says the Ichabod Crane community is pretty knowledgeable when it comes to education issues. And on this one, many parents chose to refuse the testing, dropping the school well below that 95% participation rate. I have concern about uh, the state removing funding for something that is completely out of our control. Uh, the state has put in their, their reporting a, a section for refusal, and it implies to the parents, and I'm not saying that this is exactly what it is for, but it implies to the parents that they have a right to refuse. According to Sundwall, the number of refusals or students opting out will likely go up. Now, next week is math. Do you anticipate next week when the math tests come up that there may be more than 135 who are, who are sitting out from those exams? From what I'm hearing, absolutely. Now, I did ask the State Ed Department for a specific amount of funding that an average size district might stand to lose if they failed to meet that 95% participation rate. I received a very elaborate response, and we're going to try to post their response on our website so you can look at it yourself, but I failed to get an actual number. Dennis Tompkins, though, a spokesperson, issued this statement, quote, parents who keep their children from taking these tests are essentially saying, I don't want to know where my child stands in objective terms on the path to college and career readiness, and we think that's doing them a real disservice.